So we'll try this one the same way we did that last one. We'll simplify first, and then we'll see what restrictions are on the domain. So let's look at factoring that uh, numerator first. So we got uh, 3x minus 6x squared. So I'm going to do this, do this one just a little bit differently. Uh, it's not going to affect the operation, so we know we're going to have subtract in between. I guess whatever is, stays in the parentheses there. So 3x, which is our first term there, would just be 3 times x. Uh, 6x squared, though, would be 3 times 2 times x times x. And we should have seen this already in this class. The greatest common factor is we've got a 3, and then we've got these x's right here. So the greatest common factor comes out of the parentheses. We got that 3x. And what was left over from the 3x in the front there? Uh, well, nothing really was except for we can just multiply that by 1. So we got a 1 left over. And from the 6x squared, we've got a 2 and an x, which would just be 2 times x, or 1 minus 2x there. So, And the denominator, we've got a 3x. And we can see, hopefully, that the 3s will cancel out, and so, are the, so will the x's, which leaves us with a 1 minus 2x. So our simplified function will be f of x equals 1 minus 2x. Now we do need to define values of x which will not be included in the domain. So in the original domain, uh, I'm sorry, the original function, we had a denominator of 3x. Um, nothing to really factor out here. We just know that 3x can't equal 0. So if I was solving for x here, I would divide both sides by 3, and I would see that x cannot equal 0. So in the domain... Maybe we make it look like this. On that last one, I just put x doesn't equal 0, though. So There we go. Two parts, two questions. Bam. So if I'm gathering correctly, why don't we just cancel those out? Uh, so the reason is because... Let me take that out. If we were to write this... Uh, because we have a common denominator, it really is two fractions with a common denominator, meaning we got 3x over 3x minus 6x squared over 3x. Now that will cause these 3x's to cancel out, which is where the 1 comes from right here. And then we, got, uh, we could simplify this, giving us the 2x as well. So this would essentially give us the same answer, but it doesn't allow us to cancel out these two, three X's right there.